I think basics have a little bit of a bad reputation for being boring, but today I want to show you how you can style them in a fun and stylish way. So what I'm doing, I have three different outfits using really basic pieces that you probably have in your wardrobe. And then for each outfit, I'm going to create three different looks, creating shoes, accessories and jewelry. So you can really see how easy this is. Now, the first base outfit that we have is just a pair of high waisted blue jeans and a very common white tee. And all that I want to do in the beginning is just tuck it in a little bit because that's gonna look so much better. So this is the base that we're working with. Now for look number one, I decided to go for white sneakers because they are staple in so many people's wardrobe. They are comfortable, but they are also useful at the same time. Then for accessories, what I wanna do is bring in a statement belt. So I have this black Gucci belt with a silver buckle. And then I also added silver jewelry to match everything together. And then for the bag, I decided to go for a black backpack that ties nicely with white sneakers and also the black belt. And because it's made out of leather, it's still very chic. And then the last detail that just ties everything nicely together is just a wool black hat. It doesn't have to be out of wool, but if you have any black hats, they're really stylish and I just love how this outfit looks. Now for look number two, I went for a more summery vibe. So what I picked for shoes are white wedges, which again are very comfortable, but still look very stylish. And then the second thing I wanna do is actually crop the tee a little bit because you can still do that with basic pieces to have a little bit more variety. So I just cropped it at the back and then tucked it in. So I'm showing a little bit of a midriff. And then I decided to add a tan belt and gold jewelry because I don't want to bring any black into this outfit to keep it a little bit more spring and summery. And of course that means that I also have to make sure that the bag is kind of neutral. So I'm going with this nude Valentino bag that I love so much. And this outfit is, like I said, very springy and summery and it's just a different vibe to the previous one. Now for look number three, what I wanna do is bring in black shoes. So I have this black ankle booties that I love so much and they're very comfortable again. And whenever I'm wearing black shoes, I also love to wear a black belt. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing in a black belt, but this time with a gold buckle. And I also added a gold jewelry like a gold watch and I also have gold statement earrings. And then for the bag, I decided to go for something fun and colorful. So I have this bright pink bag from Valentino that also has gold details, which ties the whole outfit nicely together. And then for outfit number two, I have black high-waisted shorts and a white button-up, which again are a staple in anyone's wardrobe. So again, the first thing I want to do is just tuck the button-up into the shorts so everything is a little bit more flattering. Now for look number one, what I want to do is actually add black 70 denier tights so I can kind of create that more of a full vibe. And then of course to make the whole outfit really stylish and flattering, I want to add black heeled ankle booties, which I just love. They're so stylish and comfortable. And then for accessories, I'm gonna do something really fun. I'm gonna button up the blouse completely, and then I'm gonna create a black bow tie, which I just love, and it just transforms the whole outfit. And what I use are actually just silk black laces that I tie together to create one long lace, and then I just tie it around my neck. Very simple, and it's just such an easy way to spice things up. And then I also added a silver watch, and I decided to just skip the belt for this look. Then for the bag, I decided to go for my Saint Laurent bag that it's leather and shiny and very statementy, but versatile at the same time. So I can kind of keep that black and white effect. Then for the second look, we're gonna go into a completely different direction, into a summer vibe. So I'm gonna put my sandals, heeled Valentino sandals on that I love so much, they're so stylish. And then also what I wanna do is actually tie the blouse at the waist so I have that crop kind of effect and I show a little bit of a midriff. And then I also wanna add a little bit of a gold hardware through a belt, through jewelry, earrings, all of that. And because I have gold in my shoes, I just made sure that everything is matching. Then of course I have to add a colorful bag if we're going for a summer vibe. I have this coral Bulgari bag that is just such a staple in the summer months and I love it very much. Then for the last detail, I just wanna add a summer straw hat, which hats are such a shortcut to looking stylish. So you wanna have something for the winter and fall and something for the spring and summer. And as you can see, this outfit is a little bit more elevated, a little bit more fun and chic. Now for look number three, I'm gonna go for something in the middle. I'm gonna add new tights, but this time 30 denier. And then I'm gonna also add white sneakers, which again are a staple and you probably have at home. And then with accessories, I wanna go really bold with the metal. Uh, what I picked is a silver one because I have my Gucci silver belt and then also have a silver watch. Necklaces, two necklaces actually, and very statementy earrings. 
Then for the bag, I'm bringing in a black backpack that I love so much. And like I said, because it's out of leather, it still works with fancier items such as this silk white button up that I'm wearing. You can see how nicely everything looks. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Plus, let me know if there are any other outfits you want me to style with different shoes and accessories. I can do a part two if that is something that you want. Just let me know in the comments down below. And now for outfit number three, what I have are a pair of high-waisted black jeans and a black jumper, which again are staples. I told you we're styling basics today. So the first thing we're gonna do is tuck it in and then we have our base layer. So for look number one, what I wanna do is bring in black wedges, which I love wedges in the spring and summer. They're just so stylish and comfy. And then I also wanna add a tan belt to kind of break up the outfit and make it a little bit more interesting. And of course, I'm gonna match the buckle, gold buckle with gold jewelry and a watch. Then for the handbag, I went again with a nude bag because I just love that nude and black look. It's very appropriate for summer and spring. Now for the second look, again, I'm gonna bring in white sneakers because I just love wearing them. They're so, so, so comfortable. Then for accessories, I'm gonna bring in a black belt with a silver buckle that you've seen before. <laughs> and then also silver jewelry because like I said, I love matching everything. And then I'm also gonna bring in my Saint Laurent leather bag because when you're wearing very black outfits, you wanna have different textures. So having some kind of a shiny leather next to cotton tops and black jeans looks very nice. And then the last thing I wanna do is bring in a pink silk scarf that I love so much. I personally think having scarves in your collection is very essential because you can have very, very basic outfits, but then you just change up your scarves and everything looks so much more fun. Then for the look number three, we're gonna go into a more full vibe. So what I'm picking are leather over the knee boots that are flat, so they're very comfortable and stylish. Then I'm also gonna add a black belt, this time with a gold buckle. And like I said, I'm just gonna match the jewelry. I have my gold watch. And I also decided to layer two gold necklaces on top of the jumper because it just looks super stylish. And then for the bag, again, I went for a colorful option. I have this pink bag with gold details that just ties the whole outfit nicely together. I just love it. Now, if you want even more tips on how you can have a really fun and versatile capsule wardrobe, then watch this video next. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.